Going for the turpits. The enemy team has taken the lead. Good shells! Good shells! Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on, Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday, and welcome back to some more World of Warships. Today's a very special day for me, and I didn't know this was going to happen. Uh, today, I get to try out a ship that I've been waiting a very long time to see in World of Warships, but I didn't know it was actually going to happen. Like, sure, I got wind of this a couple months ago, but since then... Or before that period, I didn't know if I was going to be able to play my favorite British battleship. So yeah, feels good, man. Because in these games, you can't control what ship, tank, or plane is being added. So when stuff does align and you get your favorite thing, whatever it might be, added next, it's always a, it's, it's always fun to start the game up and try it out. But uh, I haven't looked at the HMS Nelson yet, so we're going to do this together. We're going to experience it, and hopefully we won't get too many fly gasms. So without further ado, let's go to the tech. No, it's not in the tech tree. For whatever reason, it's not in the tech tree right now. As you can see, it's not listed, but it is in the tech tree. It should be over here, but it's not in the normal tech tree. It's going to be a ship like the Missouri, free XP ship. Now, it's not going to cost 750,000 free XP. It's going to, I think it's going to cost exactly 375 thousand free xp for a tier seven battleship but here we go we have it right here test ship it literally says test ship wow let's see if the other battleships do that yeah okay so a lot of the uh battleships are work in progress right now but i was told that the hms nelson is in her final form so without further ado guys here we go mm. <laughs> oh my god Oh, Lanta, look at that belt right there. This has to be one of the easiest ships to Citadel. I don't know yet. I haven't looked at the armor, but just that's a huge target. And I don't even care. I don't care. I could dive multiple times in this ship, but oh, look how. Oh, man. You know what? This is inappropriate, actually. We could not be looking at the Nelson in a American harbor. Let's change this up right now. Let's go to London. Much, much better. Uh, I, I don't know how we're going to get this ship out. It looks like it's stuck. I mean, this girl is thick. She might, it might be close through the London Bridge. I don't know. This might just be the view cutting us off or throwing us off. I, I think she might be able to squeeze through. Now, let's go over this ship. Uh, we have three guns. Nine, well, we have three turrets. Nine guns in total. 406 millimeters. We have six secondaries of 120 millimeters. And then we have six dual 152 millimeters right here. Now, these will hopefully be used as anti-air as well. So the bigger secondary right here, this the six times two or the 12 152 millimeters are strictly secondary. They cannot engage in any anti-air defense. But holy shit, the Nelson has 35 20 millimeters so at close range these things are really going to be able to i guess kill the airplanes that have already dropped their ordinance around you or near you so i mean at least you take down planes we do have six time uh, what this is a monstrosity them graphics though Six, we have six of these. Six by Octa. Oh my God, these things probably kick ass. And then to wrap it up, we have those six single 120 millimeter guns. I mean, if you think about it, we have more 40 millimeters on board than we do 35. We have 48 40 mils. This thing has to have some type of decent anti-air protection, especially with a specked out captain. Now, let's go and check out the armor. 
Good fucking God, this thing's dead. This is one of the first times I'm using this armor layout viewer. So if I'm if, if I'm misreading this, please let me know. But I said it before, we're dead. Is there any armor behind the torpedo bulge? Is there any armor behind the armor belt? I mean, we got three huge caliber guns here that a cruiser could citadel us for days if you got the side shot on us. Maybe that's going to be some of the, the play style that the Nelson, or you need to learn with the Nelson just to keep this thing angled all the time. If we uh, take a look at the bio of the Nelson, this battleship was constructed under the restrictions of the Washington Naval Treaty of 1922. And what that treaty basically did was to limit the size of warships, um, almost all of them. And to reduce the displacement of your battleship, you would need to remove things that would add a lot of weight. And that would be armor. And then it says she was the first battleship in the Royal Navy to be armored according to the all or nothing concept. So I guess the Nelson fell under the nothing portion of that. Because nothing's armored. Other than, I guess, hole to prevent water from entering the ship. This is going to be interesting today. I have a really bad feeling that I'm going to get obliterated. But uh, we'll, we'll try our best. Without further ado, guys, let's set sail. Welcome to the battle, guys. There's two things that I've already noticed with the Nelson. The turret traverse is really, really nice compared to what some of some of us are used to with the war spite, how you pretty much have to turn that ship to get the guns on target. And also the way this thing does turn. We're gonna try to go around to the right to re-engage the enemies on our right side. But this thing can hoof it. Not top speed wise, but turning radius. Here we go, applying rudder. Wish I could zoom out a little bit more. Okay, we are maximum rudder right now. Check this thing out. Reminds me, well, of the war spike. Oh, enemy right here, Charles. He is beached, or at least was beached. What do you think he's gonna do? I think, he, I think he's trying to reverse or something. We're gonna fire all guns. Decent dispersion. He is reversing. 3,000 damage. I'll take it. Now, how we're really going to have to play this thing is we're only having 30 millimeters of armor, 32. This is how we're going to have to engage all our enemies. Well, not at this angle. This is a bad angle. This right here. Now, we have an enemy. Be easy, be easy, be easy. Go, 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 shells, go. Those will get there maybe late. Yeah, a little too late, but we might get a hit or two. No sauce. Worth a try, though, especially a Citadel high-tier cruiser like that. But we're going to have to make sure our broadside is hidden at all times. Now, that St. Louis is coming out again. We got one guy aiming at us. I don't know where from. Hopefully, it's from the, the players in front of us. Five seconds. Oh, shit. Just out of range. That sucks. He might want to turn back in for a shot. Let's see here. Going for the turpits. The good shells, good shells. Whoa! Whoa! This mamma jamma hit semi hard. Okay, we're loading. Making sure we don't get to St. Louis abroad. Oh, yeah, you made a mistake. Nelson's coming for you now. On the way, that was all, almost all guns. Enemy Beautiful. Come on, Alaska, get on target for me. On the way. Will it make it? It might. Oh, no damage, unfortunately. We got a fire. We got fire from the St. Louis and the Charles. It's okay, let's just keep holding it down. Turn to the right, turn to the right now. We're gonna get foobarred by this turpit. Shell's on the way. Okay, good push, good push. Only one shell might hit. I'll miss, actually. Okay, we're gonna slow it down. We don't need to be front of the line. We are tier seven in a tier nine game. 
Damn, this thing's got a... Looks like a monster repair as well. Now, as you can see, our back gun, it can't, it can't fire right now. It's being blocked by our super firing turret. This Amagi is being weird. And uh, when I mean being weird, it, it, yeah, that, that's scary. That's scary. Those are big old shells. Okay, good bounce. I might ask for some help here. Let's get that back gun up. Yeah, you really got to expose it to some crucial angles. A little bit too far in front. 3,000 damage. We're going to go for that repair now. Monster repair. I think I might just um, settle for two turrets. And then three if it's a good, you know, good setup. Because if we if we expose again like that, we can probably take some massive citadels from this uh, Amagi. But I'm really liking I'm really liking the dispersion of the Nelson so far. That was about four thousand or three thousand hit. I think it actually reported. I think the Amagi just shot, so we're gonna kick in right rudder very soon, very soon, very soon, very soon. Right rudder kick, right rudder kick. Let's see that bow. Good. I like that a lot, actually. Now, the Turpets does have torpedoes, so let's uh, be wary of that. Here comes some Turpet shells. Turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in. You actually missed a lot of those shells. Wow, awesome. Love this dispersion. I really, really do. It covers a good majority of the ship. 3,000 damage only. Four bounce. The turbo's got a nice angle at the last second on us. Ah, uh, yes. I knew it. I knew something was fishy about the situation. Let's get another shot on this uh, Amagi here. We can probably get three guns on her. Okay, start pushing up. We don't get caught by a destroyer or anything over here. We got a destroyer who just uh, smoked up the Amagi. We need, we, we need to start to get out of here very quickly. We'll, we'll try to get one more shot on the turpits here. And then full power. Okay, we'll go full power now. Those are all her guns. Yes, it is. All stations. Concentrate fire on the go, 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 go. Oh, shit. the North Carolina is right in my way. Smack him, Nelson. Good. Just turn, Nelson. Turn, turn. Yeah. Oh, that was it. That was it. I didn't plan that correctly. Yeah, if that North Carolina wasn't there, I think we would have been able to, to complete that turn and get out of that Citadel um, shot, but that was our fault. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is happening right now. Hopefully this Fletcher has some torpedoes soon, or I'm screwed. There goes Fletcher torpedoes. Detect it. One hit him, good. I only got 1,200 damage. This guy can't see me right now, which is amazing because the Fletcher dropped some smoke. He's got another guy shoot at him from the left side. That's going to be a, a friendly battleship. But I think he wants to push for me. Set on fire again. 
Shells are out. Shells look good. Yeah, this guy wants my booty. This is this guy really wants my booty. I'm gonna call for some more help here. Okay, now he's in the smoke. There we go. Smack him. Yes. Enemy battleship destroyed. Nice. These 406 millimeter shells, they hit really hard if you get a good shot and get a, a nice RNG dispersion like that. But that was a tier nine battleship. Now, granted, we didn't do much to him. I think we probably only did about 10,000 damage. And if it wasn't for that enemy crew, or excuse me, friendly cruiser or friendly battleship setting him on fire before he entered that smoke, it would have been a much harder challenge than that. But uh, we're going to go push ourselves into Bravo and see if we can't re-engage. We get an Iowa 24 kilometers away. We might be able to get one more shot off before the game's over here. Let's get all guns on target. Uh, fire quick, fire quick. We're out of range. So from first impressions, the Nelson, there's two things. It packs a wallop of a punch. Tier 7, 406 millimeter guns. Once you get them all on target... You're bound to do, and you shoot well, you're bound to do a good eight to 15,000 damage salvo if RNG is in your favor. And then the, the other side, or the other thing I noticed is that uh, if you lose your train of thought for a second and you're not aware of the battlefield, you are going to pay it, pay for it dearly with this thing's armor. And chances are they're going to be able to hit your citadel, or at least your belt, because your belt might be two times the size of a barn. Maybe only the side of a barn. So that phrase comes into play here. But guys, if you want me to play any other, any of the new British battleships, I have them until the 30th just to check out and uh, play around. Just be aware that the other ones are work in progress ships. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, comments below. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Until next time, peace out.